Welcome back everyone to part 7 of Link to the Past. So I mentioned the magic cape, um, and what I realized is you get in a, in a grave by the sanctuary, but you need, you have to have Titan's Mitts, which you get in this dungeon. So, you can't necessarily get it, you can beat this dungeon with it, but you have to get the Titan's Mitts first, which means you have to leave said dungeon. And come back, which is a viable option if you struggle with blind, because blind can be not the easiest, not the easiest. Especially if you don't know the, know the pattern, and I'm sure I'll struggle with them. But having the cape is nice, especially if you know the glitch to it um, against blind and makes blind a joke. Uh, the interesting thing about blind is he will take damage. Oh, this is this these Patrick Starfish. I'm actually gonna carry this guy. Um, that was a bad room. Uh, the Patrick Starfish there, the, um, they were creating some some problem. Oh, that was. Don't. Man, it's been a while since I messed that up. Unless they, unless this version doesn't allow you to. Those guys are assholes. Those guys do a shit ton of damage. Uh, in in green, in green link. They're just, oh, they're an absolute pain. So I would recommend killing them as quickly as possible. Um, bombs are here because you need a bomb something. And what you need a bomb is this little light area. There's also a bomb here. Um, that is going to be useful or important later. It is important at the moment, but it will be important later. But yeah. This is Thieves Town. I like Thieves Town. It's one of my favorite dungeons. Um, I enjoy going through the, through here, especially in Randomizer. It's just it's just one of my favorite dungeons in Randomizer. That's just not good. Like I said, uh, those Patch Starf Advan, they're, they're a bit chaotic and they can just make bad stuff happen to you when they want to. Especially in tight quarters. Swing and a miss. Fuck you. God, these, use... these guys do a lot, about two two damage to touch uh, with, without, with green mail, so again, be careful with it. Because I definitely recommend probably killing these guys if you can. Um, there's some hearts here if you need some replacement. There is actually a yellow thing under this one, and you can magic fairy it. To get a, to get a fairy, kind of works as an Andy. Oh man, it's, it's the maiden. I'm glad we found her. Let's go. So that, that was easy. No boss in this dungeon. I mean, I mean, I wasn't talking about the boss earlier. What are you talking about? I'll come in this room first because this room has the 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 important item that you need. The Titan's mitts. Now you can lift heavier stuff. The heaviest stones. Basically, the darker stones is is what you can you can you can you can do now, and uh, very useful, very useful. But now we are gonna head. So if you try to leave the dungeon with with this maiden, you actually get a uh, uh, it, it won't allow you to. But take it to the light. If you don't have the bomb there, it won't do anything. Ah, too great! And it turns into the the boss of the dungeon! Uh, cool thing about this boss, if you can avoid taking hits, you can you can use your sword beams. And each little phase here takes three hits, and there are three phases. Uh, it gets chaotic for sure. Well, again, I'm I'm pretty good at this fight. There is a in speedrunning, there this this fight, as for chaotic as it seems, actually script it. You can actually script the fight and go the exact same way every single time. It takes some time to practice. Obviously, I'm not good at it. I kind of understand the gist of it. Um, at least, I, I looked it up before and I tried it a couple times, but then I just kind of gave up and didn't give a shit. Um, because I don't speedrun. But now you actually save the real Maiden. Again, this is the fourth dungeon of death of, in chronologically in Dark World, but we did third, because it's just easier that way. It's just easier. 
Thanks to the evil monsters. I heard that the knights of the Hyrule were nearly wiped out in battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the knights. I don't know why I'm talking like that. But again, more, more, more exposition for you if you want it. Do you understand? I sure don't. But now it is time to head out. And now we're going to do what I think is... The first thing you should do here, and because I don't like facing the boss of Dungeon 3 with a Master Sword, is grab this frog dude over here. Now that you have the Titans, but you cannot move these without it. Grab him. And, uh, he wants to take you to the partner. Now, you may not know where that's at, which is understandable. That's why you're watching this. Uh, it's just right over here, but in Light World. But you can do a couple things first. I can do it in this version. Damn. Uh, in one in the 1.0 in, in the randomizer uses, you can do a dash hammer where you hit if you hit the dash and the hammer at the same time, uh, you can just knock all these over, knock a line over all in one fell swoop. I don't think it's possible in the Switch version, which is what I'm playing on. But hit all those down, and they're and Secret Passes Way comes in here. Uh, the frog dude will follow you. That's not true for all things. And you get another piece of heart. But now, I'll get your mirror ready. I would recommend doing it right in front of the door, but not like, not like right, right in front of it. Give yourself a little bit of space because there's gonna be some things you want to do here. And, and you found his partner. It's the blacksmiths. They're cool dudes. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So now leave and come back. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming you could just go right back in and grab it. It might be like the... Could very well be... By the way, you don't have a sword here. It could be like the... Uh, the mushroom with the uh, witch where you have to leave the screen. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do magic bat because magic bat is extremely useful. Come down here, magic away, and you get to bat. Blast you for waking me from my deep dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge or get ready for it. Or is that okay with you, sir? <laughs> the nicest, the nicest bat. So he's putting a curse on you though because you woke him up. Your magic power will drop by one half. Oh, oh man, we... He dropped their magic by half? What? No, he actually... He actually dropped the... You, the... The amount in half that of everything of everything that uses magic. Super useful there. Highly recommend it. I'm gonna have to do this because it's gonna annoy me. Ooh, there's a chest there. That's interesting. We'll come back to that chest in a minute. And you got the Tempered Sword. You got the level 3 sword. It is stronger than the Master Sword, which seems weird. But it is, uh... Oh, so useful for... For, 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 for now. All the enemies are pushovers with the Tempered Sword. But this chest here, do not run with the chest. You will drop it like that. But go back in the light world and use your flute. Good time to use the flute. Because... You will use your flute, and uh, there is a locksmith. Go to seven. I had luck I Thankfully I had uh, iframes, because that Octorok was all up in my business. Uh, right up here, though, is... Yes, he used to be a thief. And then you get your fourth and final battle. Remember, we got three super early on. And uh, that is our fourth and final battle that we will get. Head back to three. And now... 
And now, since we have the Titans Mitts, these Dark Rocks, we can just lift up and go back into the Dark World and head to Skull Woods. What's up, honey? Buzzbuzz gonna get you. Alright. Uh, these guys here go down in one hit to the Tempered Sword, which is always, always nice. Always nice. Uh, don't fall into that one. You can. Oh, wait, yeah, no, you have to fall in that one. I was thinking the other one. I was thinking the other one. Sorry, sorry. This, this dungeon, when you first play, is going to throw you for a bit of a loop. It, it really will. Uh, especially if you're 100 saying it. It just... A, a bit of a pain. A, a bit of a pain. Uh, that red dude's an asshole. We've seen him before. Uh, up here is another... A small key. That you can go right here. That is... That is our big chest. We are still waiting for the big key. A chest here. You, you really should... I think you're supposed to hook shot there, by the way. You, see, I didn't care. Um, there is gonna be a chest that I will not get. Eh, what the hell. Oh, uh, there's another hole here. Don't go down here. Um, it, it's a pretty useless room. Oh shit, that's not the room I thought it was. Yes, don't go down there. I thought that was a different room than what it was. Ignore me. How the hell did you get through that? Okay, so uh, here is a good use of Bombos. Anytime you see these uh, mummy dudes, fire is their weakness. And it is also useful. You do use a lot. Now, remember I have half magic, so if I would just use that without half magic, that would use the I sh basically a shit ton of of magic. That is a wall master, and he's an asshole. If he, if he touches you, he takes you back to the where you came in the, last came in the dungeon, and he will reset the rooms and everything for enemies and everything. But there is our dungeon key, our big key. So now we have to head back because we need it to go any further. Now here you could I. I could have, and should have, really, used my mirror um, to mirror out, mirror back to the start of that area. Because the mirror in the dungeon, I think I mentioned this before, but I'll go over again, will take you to where you went into the dungeon, your last entry point. I don't, you notice I'm not saying start of the dungeon, I'm kind of going on my, on my way to do that. You can bomb jump over this. Um, and that is on purpose. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's why you go down. See, I got myself discombobulated. It's easy to do. But I'm, I'm not saying start the dungeon because that's not necessarily true. Because it just takes you... And that's important for like a dungeon like this. And uh, especially Turtle Rock is another one that has multiple entrances. So it's just really where you last entered the dungeon at. And it takes... But the mirror will take you back there. It won't take you to the light world in a dungeon, thankfully. That'd be weird. But... I'll pull this and it blows up the wall. That's got to piss off the boss of this dungeon. And you get the fire rod! Ah, fire rod is really, really nice. I would recommend... Uh, not doing that, actually. I would recommend... Uh, doing that. Missing a couple keys. Yeah. Um, so now that we have Fire Rod, we can actually complete this dungeon proper. I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, you can just go to the left here. There is a key in the upper left corner here. Uh, grab that key. I don't actually think you need that key. Because I think there's one in here, but I, I don't want to... I think, yeah, I think there's one in here, which I think we're going to get here in a minute. But that 
um, spine-like thing is, uh, you can only, you can only break it with the fire rub. And, uh... And the not, you can't use the lamp, I know what you're thinking, oh, just use the lamp, no, that doesn't work. It has to be the, uh, fire rod. Yep. I thought so, I thought that was the last, I thought that was a key. Um, I didn't get a chest, but it, it, all it would have been in there is a, is a key to get out of a, it's kind of a trap room. Uh, you fall, Jesus. You fall down in the room and there's some mummies in there, it's really just a trap room. Um, definitely not worth going into. Uh, this is supposed to be a maze. But you can do that. I'd be perfectly fine and get, get out of there. Uh, this room has four of these assholes. You can take them down with your fire rod or bombos, either one. And I'd highly recommend it. I'm going to use the Now I'm going to use said fire rod. Because you have to lay up these four torches to open up the room here. Boom, shakalaka. Uh, these, that, oh, I get hit by that guy a lot. Oh, I knew it was going to get turned into a bunny. So I grabbed that one key for this door. That um, that mummy right there in this room has another has another key if you need it. I didn't need it. I kind of commandeered one for another area. I'm doing that to hit, get him to drop there because if he drops while you're falling a hole, he will grab you, and it is annoying. But this is Mothula. He is an asshole. Um, if he's on spikes, he's invulnerable. Which is really annoying. And I am already kind of fucking this up. You already kind of seen it. Um, he with again. That's why I got tempered. He's pretty easy to temper, and your half magic fire rod. He goes down like a breeze. If you come in here with the master sword and not half magic, you're gonna have a tough time because those spikes just they get more numerous, they get faster. Mothula become the an asshole, because again, he is immune to the spikes. In the original version, in the 1.0 version, I, I won't know. I don't know if it got patched out or not. I don't know. I doubt it did because you. Can't. So there is a fourth level of sword. I think I mentioned that before. It's called the gold sword, or we call it butter sword because it looks like a stick of butter. And if you glitch the game, or or you know use use illegal means to grab your fourth level sword. Mothula will not take damage from it. That is true. He will not take damage from it. He is immune to it for some reason. I don't know why that is. But if you play the game normally, you don't have to worry about that. But if you're someone that does glitches, that's something to worry about. But if you're doing glitches, you already knew that. But that is... Man, two dungeons in one part? God. But that will do it for Skull Woods. The problem with Skull Woods is... You get kind of started back here. Now, I could go back in the light world and use my flute, which is not... Actually, that's not a bad option. Let's do that. But there's actually a couple checks that we need to check in. Uh, we have a few more. You can't kill that guy, by the way. <laughs> That'd be kind of morbid. Um... So yeah, you can use your flute here to just bypass the Skullwoods maze, Lost Woods maze, Skullwoods, I don't know, I guess it's Skullwoods. But I'm actually gonna go back into... Into this way. Because now we're gonna head up to where the Sanctuary would normally be. Um, because we have some stuff to grab, including a pretty important item. There is something up there, but we can't get it. ATM. So I made, mentioned that there was a, a thing over here early, a few parts ago that you can grab. And this is... So now... You don't have to have the mirror for this. It's just the way it routes for me works best. Uh, yeah, bonk on that. I forgot about that. There is a glitch you could... There is a kind of glitch little way you can do that. 
But in here is the cape. That's what I was talking about earlier with um, in blind. If you're struggling with blind, you can you, you can grab the cape, and uh, it's really useful. Especially when he's in this chaos mode where he's flying around heads and shooting stuff. It's really useful. But now we're gonna come up here. And that we're gonna come into here. It's giving you bombs for a reason, folks. Also hearts, because I took some damage. And heart piece. And another no far. I'm already at 15 hearts. There's only five more hearts to get, and folks. I don't want to alarm you. But I only got wrong wrong world to check. There is 20 hearts in this game. I think there's 20 hearts in this game. Am I wrong? Is there 24? No, it's 20. Got to be 20. There's only three more dungeons, so that means there's eight more heart pieces to grab in this game. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I think we're actually going to be going to grab one here shortly, as a matter of fact. Uh, and this will introduce us... We saw kind of one early, if you were real, but these... Those birds there, the Dark World equivalent to the one birds, these are assholes. They do a lot of damage, and they will not leave you alone. So, in Light World, those birds just kind of leave you alone and stop giving a shit. But those birds... They will not. Look at three hearts of damage. They hurt. And again, they don't leave you alone. But you're going to come in here. And this is called Bumper Cave. Because there's a bunch of bumpers. But you need... You have to have the cape in here, though. Oh, I'm dumb. That was not my finest moment, folks. I'll just say that. You can just go right there. Why? Why you can do that? But you cannot get past this bumper. No matter what you do, I almost fell. But you can get past it using the cape. Cape does use magic over time. And you can grab another piece of heart. So we not only, I think I think, I was thinking we have seven heart pieces left to grab. And, uh,. I think that that will do it for part seven. Uh, join me for part eight as we head on to our next dungeon, which I think is going to be Ice Palace. Yay, everyone's favorite dungeon. Actually, no, it's going to be Misery Mire. I take that back. It's going to be Misery Mire. Until then, deuces.